Hey everybody, and welcome to a legitimate challenge run on Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. So today we have a challenge run from Cinda Z Tars. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It might be Cinda Stars, but it's with two Zs instead of S's. Anyway, uh, this is a run called Independent Woman. You know, we're a strong independent Maggie who don't need no man. Uh, to this credit, this is meant to be, by the way, as uh, Cinda Stars said, a legitimate challenge. So there's probably other items we could throw in here to make it, you know, cooler, but uh, this is meant to be a challenge, so uh, we have the bare minimum. We have Maggie. Obviously, uh, we have mom's lipstick and we have mom's heels. And I just want to point out here that I, I hope this doesn't drum up any issues of sexism or anything like that. This is all meant in jest, and you know, I know that that can be an inflammatory subject on the internet. This is certainly not my intention. It's just my intention to have an interesting theme for this run. Uh, beyond this, no deals with the devil or no deals with the angel are allowed because, you know, we're self sufficient. Uh, and I realized I said that right as I picked up a familiar, but, you know, that's totally okay with, uh, with the uh, conditions of the challenge run. Item rooms, shops, libraries, whatever, uh, as long as we are essentially providing them for ourselves. You know, we're spending the key to get in there, so we deserve whatever is uh, on the table in there, essentially. So we're going to see if this works. Uh, obviously, not having deals with the devil actually hinders my Maggie play pretty substantially. My normal strategy uh, for Maggie is to sacrifice as much health as possible at the altar of uh, the, the Satan in particular uh, and pick up items like uh, Mom's Knife as a result to compensate for her relative. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say she's got low damage, but, you know, it, all characters start in a position where I consider them to be, um, you know, unable to beat the entire game. Uh, so, you know, that's our, what we do as Maggie is try to trade our existing advantage, which is a, a lot of health to start with, uh, for uh, extra damage and extra killing ability, uh, basically. So, so far so good. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, you know, we could use more HP upgrades in the long term. Squeezy's an okay upgrade. I've come around to tears upgrades recently because they also give us, of course, uh, the ability, I guess you could say, uh, to fire a little bit faster, uh, which can really s uh, stack well with damage upgrades. But considering we're not able to go with any deals with the devil on this floor, uh, I think it's definitely uh, probably pretty clear that our number one uh, major concern, actually Squeezy really gives us a, a fairly substantial increase in rate of fire here, it seems like. Um, but our number one concern is going to be getting damage upgrades, because uh, probably like 50% of the damage upgrades that I get when I play the Binding of Isaac come via uh, those, uh, I, what was I going to say? Uh, deals with the devil, yes, of course, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Still recording these on like two hours of sleep, so, uh, yeah, without those, uh, that standard avenue, shall we say, for, um, high damage items, uh, it might be a little trickier for me to find them, so I would be really happy if we can get something like a Max's head, or a pentagram, or something like that, uh, even, uh, you know, there's other ways to go about it. Maybe a uh, deal with, or sorry, not a deal with devil, but a shop item like Blue Candle would go a long way uh, towards helping me out. Uh, or, you know, maybe a slightly worse item like a Book of Belial or something like that. I, I do think, as much as I love Book of Belial, I do think that the Blue Candle is uh, fairly substantially better. So, uh, I'm going to try to get an attack fly here. It's another item that could have a, a major impact on our success. So, our goal is just going to be... Uh, to kill our blue envy last, and I don't think it gives us a 100% chance uh, to get an attack fly, but I do think it, it, it gives us a, a drastically increased chance uh, if we uh, kill the blue one last. And of course, we, we've got kind of a contingency plan here, because uh, even if we kill the blue one now, well, there will only be blue ones, but we had him kind of like on his n second to last phase, so even if I misfire, we should be okay. So I think we've got a good chance of getting the attack fly. Uh, instead, you know, I can't really complain. we got a, a key which I will use to access the item room directly below us. And we're going to need some good items if we're going to succeed. You know what? That's fantastic. We did get a damage upgrade there. Uh, it's a rare pickup, I would say. It's probably the rarest of the syringes. Uh, probably Poison Touch or uh, the one that gives us um, speed and range. The green one is, is the most likely or most common. Uh, but I'm pleased with that nonetheless. So hopefully we'll pick up some extra bombs. I would love to be able to get to the secret room on this floor. Uh, pick up some money that might make it possible for me to go to the shop later. And in fact, we might be able to earn enough money money here in all actuality uh, to play uh, around in the arcade and in the arcade uh, we could potentially earn a key so I am going to use the blood bag just quickly here just to get one more wow we got a dime out of that that was unexpected uh, so let's come in here and uh, you know what while we're here we might as well play around with this blood bag too you never know if maybe it'll pay out play pay out with the uh, blood bag it didn't but that's okay so we've got 38 cents let's try to earn a key here so we can go to the shop if we get more red hearts fantastic there's a trinket that should give us more bombs uh, over the course of the game depending on how long we're uh, gonna keep playing here more hearts is good uh, I yeah you know what we should trade these in right away the, the odds of getting the HP upgrade are pretty good the extra money is valuable uh, certainly at some point and we have the two extra uh, spirit hearts which is the main reason why I feel so comfortable doing this right now uh, also you know extra spirit hearts by way of the fortune teller are a likelihood here 
Uh, I kind of don't want to get fly love yet, so I'm glad we didn't. Uh, and, you know, how long will I play this? Probably until we get down to 15, 20 cents. Uh, in the hopes that we get uh, an item that I could really use, largely, you know, consisting of a second key, would I guess be ideal. Uh, so far, not really great luck. Um, there is a pill. Uh, what is the pill? We'll see what it does. We can afford to lose something here. Tears down. Not the end of the world since we did get a tears upgrade. Uh, the extra health we got might make it possible for us to... Yes! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, I still want to play this dude because uh, it would be excellent for us to be able to get a, a, even a single key. Two keys are a possibility. Hey, there we go! Alright, so I would say we just leave there, and again, that's another example of uh, gambling being really effective. It's uh, kind of a, a aspect of the game that I overlooked for a while. Uh, but now that I've gambled a little bit more often in The Binding of Isaac, it's oftentimes been a, a real deal maker when it comes to uh, winning the game, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. And you know, if this is a meant to be a challenge, it's kind of like uh, Sin of Stars is throwing down the gauntlet, so I should definitely... Uh, you know, it's in my best interest to try as hard as I can, shall we say. So I definitely am going to buy another key. Uh, I don't want to buy another bomb because we have the matchstick. Uh, but with two keys, I definitely feel okay to uh, open up this golden chest in the hopes of picking up something uh, more amazing. Now, we did get a lot of bombs out of that, so now I feel okay with opening up this side. Maybe we'll get some keys out of that and come out ahead overall. Well, no, just more money and bombs. But still, with one key uh, going down in the next floor, we can go to the shop and hopefully uh, get a key. Even if we don't get one, just through random drops. All right, so we are going to be fighting uh, the... Uh Blighted ovum on this floor. I didn't even realize that the blighted ovum could be on the first floor I don't know. I, I mean, I probably did but I always just considered him like a later game uh, Drop for some reason now remember we cannot go to the way I mean we can go to the deal with the devil room We just can't pick up the item. So what's the point? Uh, let's just pick up our HP upgrade and leave that spirit heart was very good to us Even if I did want the damage upgrade so that floor uh, started out not being fantastic But ended up uh, turning into something that was pretty useful for us what is our number one priority now? Uh, keep doing what we're doing, get a key so we can go to both the item room and the shop, even if greed is within one of them. Uh, and uh, I guess, well, I guess he would only be within the uh, shop. But anyway, uh, ideally, replace this uh, yum heart. Oh, we're going to take damage. Yep. Probably more than I would like. Uh, ideally, replace this yum heart with something I can get a little bit more use out of. Like the Book of Revelations, for example. That is a fairly textbook example of exactly what I wanted right now. So, I'm going to use the Book of Revelations. The extra spirit hearts are going to be very valuable. The downside is, uh, it's impossible for us to get a fourth level Meat Boy, which is disappointing, and, and that's one of the main reasons to pick up Book of Revelations. Uh, the po oh, come on, I can't believe we executed that jump. Uh, the good news is, of course, the, the positives definitely outweigh that. Uh, we should be able to get a ton of spirit hearts, especially if I don't take dumb damage like that. Uh, we should be able to get at least a third level Meat Boy, unless we get fucked by Conquest. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty valuable in and of itself. A third level Meat Boy is nothing to sneeze at. I don't really want to go through that, but we might as well go through every room that we have the opportunity to go through. Uh, simply because, uh, the... You know what, I'm going to stick with the matchstick here. I thought about going with the Curved Horn, which is a, a damage upgrade if you need a refresher. Uh, and I love damage upgrades. But uh, the extra bombs are probably going to future-proof us a little bit better here. And our damage is already solid enough for now. Uh, well, hopefully we'll get some more buffs for it later, but for now I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this. Uh, pleased with where we're at. Uh, so I'm hoping that, you know, maybe we'll, if we'll get a better trinket later, we'll reevaluate our situation. But for now, I'm okay with the matchstick. Uh, but yes, we're, we're just trying to get as many charges on our uh, Book of Revelations as we possibly can right now. So why don't we go fight our in our boss room? Uh, it had to be Pestilence, of course. So I'm just gonna back it up here. I almost hit myself, and you... I've got to watch that in slow motion again to figure out... How the fuck none of those shots, or none of those bombs hit Pestilence. They seem to be like surrounding it. I thought it was going to get hit on multiple sides. Uh, but I guess just through fucking Brownie in motion, uh, he got extraordinarily lucky or like qu fucking quantum tunnel to path through the bombs or something. Uh, that was very surprising, shall we say. So we're about halfway through the Pestilence fight. Should be real easy. Uh, hopefully we get like a Spirit Heart drop from him as well, or a Key drop. Uh, sometimes you can get consumable drops from bosses, but I expect that we'll probably just have Red Hearts. Uh, the other reason I want to do some more exploring on this floor is, of course, if we come across an arcade, uh, there's a lot of Red Hearts that are going to be scattered around, so... Uh, I would love to be able to pick those up, and you know, I would love to have the ladder, because that would give us a lot of money here, but keep in mind we already have the Steam sale, so even only having uh, 10 cents, that's still one more item uh, from the shop, at the very least. Uh, even if we don't manage to get any more money, and we should still look for the secret room. We got five bombs. That's enough. Uh, five bombs and the matchstick, which is enough to feel uh, pretty good uh, about uh, our chances right now. 
So we do have a golden chest there, which is obviously not really in my best interest to go for, considering I don't have uh, means to get to it or means to open it in the, the first place, I guess. So kill this dude. We get a key drop. Fantastic. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I still don't want to spend two bombs and a key to open that golden chest. I think we're push pressing our luck a little bit too hard there. Uh, that is not the secret room. Two other possible locations, so I'm really hoping, of course, this pays out with a fairly substantial amount of money, considering what we're investing into it, uh, potentially. That is not the secret room either, so it is going to be a three-bomb secret room. Uh, nine cents would be fantastic, a one-up would be great. Uh, well, actually, 15 cents just got dropped there, so that is going to finance uh, all of our shops for basically the rest of the game, so I'm okay with that. Uh, even if the Anarchist Cookbook was garbage in our item room, I would say this floor was overall a fairly uh, positive experience. So, that is uh, Poison Touch, definitely a room I'm going to want to go for. Uh, simply because it's a, basically a free upgrade, and if we do end up getting uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, which might be impossible, because I don't really think we can get uh, like a guppy's paw in any situation but a deal with the devil, uh, unless we, I don't know, get like a lucky judgment drop or something? I'm not even sure if that's possible, but... Uh, I mean, it's possible to get a lucky judgment drop, but I'm not sure if it's possible to get Guppy's Paw via it, if you know what I mean. So, picking up Poison Touch, I think, is a smart decision here. Obviously, uh, with one key and 25 cents and the Steam Sale, uh, probably the shop is going to be in our best interest for the first use of this key, especially considering it's right beside us. What am I looking for from the shop? Standard items, ladder, map, compass, 9 volt, nun's habit, uh, blue candle would put me in an interesting situation. But anyway, we might just run into greed, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Compass! Beautiful. And, uh, well, I was going to say half price, but of course it's half price, because we have the uh, uh, Steam Sale, as mentioned earlier. Now, I do have the speed, I believe, necessary to get around Lust here. Even if Lust manages to hit me, uh, the Poison Touch will take her or him out pretty quickly. Uh, now, it's worth noting, uh, since we already have Poison Touch, I'm not sure what this guy could actually drop. We'll see what this pill does. Uh, it's not a Tears Down. It is a luck down, which actually, as we've mentioned many times, may uh, indeed be a positive thing. Uh, but let's not worry about that too much for now. So we're just going to keep trying to survive on this floor. We do have another arcade, which means the potential to abuse uh, our ability to gamble here. And also, we should be able to get a lot of money and maybe even another HP upgrade snagged out of that blood bank. Because uh, we do have six red heart containers right now. So that, that makes up, uh, what, like 11 plays that we could do? I think so. Um... And there was a heart just sitting on the ground here, so that's fantastic. Might as well pick that up straight away. Uh, I have no qualms at all about just gambling all of our uh, hearts away here. I'm pretty confident uh, that we will get paid out here. I really just wish that we did have a, uh, a conventional slot machine. Because these slot machines uh, that we've been dealing with so far uh, have all been fortune tellers, which is not really all that useful for us. Uh, although, you know, spirit hearts, I guess, always... Uh, Fairly beneficial. So we now are, are up to 35 cents. Let's see if we can get some better trinkets, perhaps. Not that this trinket is necessarily terrible. Uh, but be oh, well, we got some more hearts, which is something. I was kind of hoping that would explode with the key. I mean, the whole reason I'm in here, uh, ostensibly beyond just getting that HP upgrade, is the, the hopeful notion that I could snag a key at some point uh, and be able to go to that item room. Well, we got another kind of staggering haul there in terms of our items. Now, we've got to really rely on this dude to pay out with either a key or uh, more hearts so I can play that blood bank a little more often. We have somehow earned money on this floor, despite gambling like crazy. Uh, but again, what are we going to get here? Fly Love would be okay as well, but I, I would much rather... I think I really just don't want to win money at this point. The money is worthless. As the Joker said, it's not about the money. It's about opening a door here. Uh, so again, more money that is totally worthless for me. This is the one I want. And good, it paid out. So first things first, let's go to our item room and see what we've got in there. I had a feeling it would eventually. Uh, I'm glad it didn't take too long. And sadly, we have just run across a um, mom's pad, which is basically uh, garbage compared to the Book of Revelations. Mom's pad isn't the worst uh, space bar item in the game. It's in fact, it's not even really in contention for the worst spirit art or worst space bar item in the game. Uh, but it is not great, and and Book of Revelations certainly uh, usurps it. I would say uh, in terms of value. Uh, so, we'll just uh, make our way to the boss room. Uh, we will, might as well spend a bomb here. It's basically free of charge. In fact, I should have spent it the other way to see if the secret room was there. Another kind of staggering amount of money. I do want to go back and definitely, like, do my damnedest to earn the uh, HP upgrade via the blood bank. I almost said blood bag there. I got a little confused. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it for now. Uh, let's just focus on taking out these eyeless ooze guys before they catch me in a fucking finger trap here. Uh, and butt fuck me from both sides. Okay, more keys! This is actually fantastic. Uh, the keys have been uh, kind of a sore spot for us so far. The only downside is now I've lost a little bit of my incentive to gamble on future floors, but uh, I'll probably keep that up because obviously it's in my best interest uh, to uh, abuse all the advantages when I have the opportunity to do so. 
So we are, uh, I mean, I wouldn't ostensibly say that we're exclusively looking for the boss room here. That was terrible dodging. I just got into a position where the shot could hit me and then continue to stand there until it actually happened. But uh, health-wise, we're doing fine. This is a tears down pill, which is uh, obviously not the sort of thing that I'm super into right now. We have used Book of Revelations on this floor, but we've also, we fought Pestilence on the last floor. So I don't think we can actually uh, fight the... Uh, the next Horseman of the Apocalypse, which is actually a great thing because it does open the door to other uh, possible upgrades for us. So, you know, maybe a range upgrade or a tiers upgrade. Uh, Rate of Fire, the Crate, Pageant Boy would probably be the most useless uh, upgrade we can get right now. Uh, because in terms of money, that's really the one thing that we're really, really strong on right now is our finances, especially considering, you know, we already had the Steam sale. Uh, inevitably, Greed is going to show up at some point. Uh, it'll probably, if I had to guess, be on the next uh, item room. Now, I'm just... Oh, of course, these guys pop up in the worst fucking order to, to make this easy. Uh, I, I think I actually lost Spirit Hearts on this floor, which is pretty depressing considering it's fairly early on and we're not even on a, um, like, the harder version of the floor. Uh, I guess it is worth a bomb to get a penny here. And we might as well do it while also trying to find the secret room. Let's see if this works. I guess the secret room couldn't even be there in the first place, but we didn't lose out on very much. Uh, yeah, let's look for the secret room. We might as well. Uh, there's a few possible locations for it, but luckily we are just right here. And of course, it's another fortune teller. I'm going to play this five times until we get down to 50 cents. And hopefully I don't pick up the tick and completely screw over my uh, possible possible uh, win here. Uh, and I will, just before we finish off, go uh, back to the arcade and give one more, spear or one more uh, half red heart to the blood bank in the hopes that it will... Uh, pay out with that blood bag, and uh, all of my problems will be averted to a certain extent. Otherwise, you know, well, the other way, you know what, we might as well not even go for the blood bag right now. We'll wait and see what we get as a drop from this boss, and then we'll do it that way, because there's probably going to be a lot of health in here anyway. Okay, we're fighting the Fallen. So this is both, uh, it's, it's largely awesome, let's put it that way. I was going to say it's both terrible and awesome. The only reason it would be terrible, though, is because, um, you know, he's a harder boss than you're used to fighting at this point in the game. Uh, but it's awesome because, you know, it gives us the opportunity to pick up an amazing deal with the devil item. Uh, now, keep in mind, as I say that, there are a lot of deal with the devil items that I basically just consider to be trash. So, uh, I'm hoping that we don't end up getting one of those, you know, like a... I mean, not that it's necessarily trash, but nine lives, or even a guppy's head, or... Even the, nah, I guess the nail is basically a straight upgrade here. Guppy's tail is definitely one of those items that I would consider kind of trashy. Recall that uh, deals with the angel are definitely not doable for us on this run. So, uh, let's go try to be a strong independent Maggie here and give uh, three more uh, plays on this blood bank in the hopes that we can actually pick up another blood bag and make our way forward a little bit. So that's just more money for now. Here's the last play. That's really unfortunate. Okay, you know what? We could abuse this guy a little bit more. Let's just blow him up, though. We gotta leave this floor at some point. And, uh, yeah, I'd say that's, uh, our cue to go. So, sadly, that didn't pan out for us as well as it did on the earlier floor. But that being said, we're still in a very sustainable position here. Are we in a position where we could win the game? It's possible. Uh, but we are a little ways out from that right now. We need, um, a couple of things. The ability to replenish our health. I just want to see what it is, because it's probably Sacred Heart or something. No, Guardian Angel. I don't feel too bad about missing out on that. Um, we're gonna get this third level Meat Boy, that's gonna go a long way towards helping us with our, um... Well, we don't really have damage issues, but it's gonna go a long way towards helping us kill enemies later in the game. So that's a very, a big positive that's gonna be coming a little bit later, that was a solid dodge. Um, that being said, um, some way to replenish our health a little faster would be nice, even if we end up fighting like a little Chad or something, that might be okay, just to make sure that we stay survivable. Uh, that should guarantee that we fight war on this floor, we knew that we were gonna fight greed, um, we already have the compass. Picking up the map would be fantastic, obviously, for uh, late game. Uh, but I would almost like to just stack up red hearts and then get rid of the um, uh, Book of Revelations to pick up Blue Candle or something. Now, it, it, I'm basically saying, like, our, our run right now is, like, tofu-esque. And uh, it's going to pick up the flavor of whatever our last shop has in it, if it's beneficial for us. If it's Blue Candle, that's going to change things drastically. If it's the map, fantastic. Uh, if it's something like Notched Axe, then just ignore these comments, because uh, that's going to be largely irrelevant. Uh, don't get hit here, that would have been real silly. No excuse for that, essentially. Uh, we're going to make our way down to the item room here, and uh, it's only the depths, so I, you know, I'd, I'd be freaking out a little bit more if we were on uh, Necropolis in all likelihood. I'm going to take damage there. But now I'm actually starting to get a little concerned, because I haven't picked up any Red Hearts uh, since the last floor. Uh, and Well, there we go. <laughs> Never mind then. Uh, but I, I was feeling a little bit vulnerable there. Uh, and more money, which is, like, largely worthless for us in the long run. This may indeed be the way to the boss room, which would save me a little bit of time. 
What are we going to have in our item room? The, you know, the thing we haven't talked about, the elephant in the room so far, has been that these item rooms that we've been facing have been largely, like, real bad. Mom's pad, anarchist cookbook, like, just stuff that didn't help us out at all. Uh, the Celtic Cross helps us out a little bit. It's not a uh, game-breaking item for us. Uh, but by the same token, it's certainly it's at least a passive item that we can use, even if uh, for right now it's not necessarily the the best item we could have hoped for. So obviously we're looking for a, a mom's knife randomly dropping in an item room, which has like a one in two hundred chance, or a polyphemus or something like that. Sorry, my my cat is getting up in my grill. He's real excitable. Where, what are you gonna do, cat? Why don't, don't lick the tissues that I've been blowing my nose in all day. That's real gross. And I, you, I'm getting sick, but you're not getting sick. Something's not fair about this situation. Uh, he did drop a chest, which is good. Not my cat, the uh, zombie we were fighting. And hopefully, we will... Uh, yeah, money. Money and uh, a book of revelations charge and uh, a little bit of health there. So that's awesome. Now, we have to actually make our way up to this uh, boss room. We're going to be fighting war, so we should, you know, 99% odds be getting a uh, single cube of meat, which will take us to the second level cube of meat. Not the, you know, biggest upgrade, but the third level cube of meat is still coming, although I always hold out, uh, like, a little bit of skepticism because, um, Conquest could end up fucking us pretty miserably. I don't know why it works like that. It, it, it devalues the Book of Revelations when there's already an item like the Nail, which is almost uh, a straight upgrade over it. Well, yeah, I guess it depends, because the Cube of Meat is beneficial. But anyway, it, it depends. It's a case-by-case -case basis, I suppose. Um, let's see what we get. Uh, I was really hoping for a consumable drop there. Uh, the other thing is, you know, it, the other uh, kind of shop item that would drastically change... Uh, or. I didn't, maybe not change, but define how this run's going to go down is something like the Nun's Habit or Battery or the 9 Volts, uh, all of which would definitely be welcome. So all I'm hoping for in the next item room is, like, not Notched Axe. That's uh, the, primarily where I'm going with that one. So let's just uh, walk these guys over the spikes. The more time that these guys spend uh, over in that area, the better it is for me, because obviously several of them will die on the spikes in an inglorious fashion, uh, but a fashion that nonetheless is very practical for me on a personal level. So let's destroy them and uh, just continue walking backwards. It's pretty much my major advice for this room. Walk backwards seems to be pretty effective. Uh, and a single penny. Oh my god, this cat is out of control. And these pretzels are making me thirsty. Seriously, you ding dong. Go take a sleep. That's what cats do. You're acting like a, a dog. Do you want to be a dog? You want to be Dog the Bounty Hunter, maybe? That, there's a show that I would watch. All right, so we are fighting war, as mentioned. Uh, I should be an easy fight. Uh, but what I do want to do here uh, is just, you know, I dropped my own bomb to try to help me in the conquest here, no pun intended. Uh, but it's not really going to benefit me. Okay, one second. I've got to, I realize i got to move, but at the same time I had to throw my cat off my lap again. This is ridiculous. Thank you, by the way, for the tips of just, like, putting a shoebox next to your desk. Uh, the cat would be, like, magically attracted to it. Uh, as you can see, it's working out fantastically so far. Uh, let's, uh, up. Oh, that actually did some damage to me, which is kind of unexpected. Remember, the second level cube of meat is not the one that's gonna, you know, our victory's gonna hinge on. It's definitely gonna be this third level cube of meat. Uh, in all hopefulness, uh, we'll be able to get that sooner rather than later. We're only halfway through this fight. That being said, um, once he starts doing his, uh, running attack, we should be fast enough to just kind of, you know, play the snake game or, you know, play Geometry Wars here and just uh, walk backwards and shoot forwards, uh, at which point uh, I don't think he'll be able to catch us. Now, war can be a real deal breaker if you've gotten a speed down pill or something, but we've gotten a couple of speed upgrades by way of the blood bags and the uh, speed plus damage increase, so that, that's fine. Uh, the cube of meat is something. rest of this floor was not necessarily that good to us. I say we go down to the next floor and uh, see what comes up, basically. Obviously, we're going to be fighting Mom on this floor. There's all sorts of interesting stuff like an arcade and uh, a shop and uh, uh, the curse room, which we're not going to go to, but, you know, it's interesting that it exists there. Now, just be cool here. I should be able to just come around the other side of these guys and make their lives a little bit miserable. Fantastic. I guess I do have the range necessary to kind of uh, exploit this. Book of Revelations charges up. That will not do anything on this floor, but give me a spirit heart, but that's okay. Uh, and I can't believe that, despite having the matchstick, I've only managed to amass nine bombs over the course of this run. It's definitely a situation where I would have rather had uh, the burnt penny, because uh, we probably would have picked up like 20 or 30, given how much money we have here. That being said, can't complain, you know, it beats uh, having less bombs, I suppose. Harlequin baby. Uh, kind of, again, undermining the premise of this run, being a Miss Independent or Independent Woman run. Uh, that being said, I do appreciate the extra damage. I can't complain about that at all. Uh, not just extra damage, but extra... Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take damage, though. That's kind of amazing. Extra crowd control potential as well. I can't believe I just walked right into that bomb. The stars card takes us immediately to the item room. Yes, uh, so I probably shouldn't have popped that right away. But, 
We are on our way to our shop. This shop is going to be a major one. If it has super greed, I'm going to cry my eyes out and uh, like this if you cry every time. Anyway, apparently that's what we're doing. We're just turning internet comments that are infamous into uh, Isaac Challenge runs today. So let's back it up a little bit. It's got a pretty standard ethos, or not ethos, MO. That's what I was going for, for, for doing these uh, rooms. Basically just walk backwards, shoot forwards. Okay. That was a little scary. We are... Uh, do, I don't need two keys, I only need one key, so... Although this might not be in my best interest, and I just totally fucked that up, so I'm gonna have to spend a second bomb. Uh, this could be major if we get, like, a damage upgrade or something in here. Uh, well, we got a bomb key and an eternal heart, so I guess that, you know, functionally was uh, better than even trade. So I'm okay with that. Now, I didn't even realize this was a necropolis. We're actually doing all right, considering this floor is supposed to be one of the more difficult ones. And, of course, it's notched axe, uh, because I specifically asked for it not to be. Now, if I play the blood bank, I'm pretty sure that I'll lose the eternal heart. So, I think it's definitely not... I mean, I mean people are going to say, no, it takes the red hearts first, then the eternal heart. But, you know, I, I, experience in my brain is saying that that is contrary to the reality of the situation. So, you might be saying, well, play it anyway. Well, I'm not going to play it anyway, because... Uh, what, I, what do I want from that blood bank? An HP upgrade. I definitely don't need the money at this point, uh, considering how late in the game we are, and of course the fact that I have 74 cents. So, um, you know, I already have the HP upgrade provided that I don't fuck it up in some stupid way. Uh, this is indeed the way to our boss room, which is fantastic for me. I was really hoping to be able to blow up the TNT there. Oh my god, this guy's fast. That did damage, uh, as did the poison touch uh, on this chub here. Obviously this guy's real fast, but he's also real dead, which is positive for me. Uh, so, Book of Revelations popped again. Uh, let's go fight this guy. I should probably take out the Leapers first, because otherwise I'm not going to pay attention and one of them's going to hit me. But uh, I've never been a smart man, what can I say? Uh, Celtic Cross gave me some invincibility there. So we don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility, and we're likely to never have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, that being said, we will occasionally get Celtic Cross invincibility, which is fantastic. You guys can probably guess what just happened to me when I stopped moving there, but uh, let's not harp on it for too, too long. Uh, just walk it back, and, uh, now I'm trapped in the corner. Yep, uh, it was inevitable that I was gonna take damage there, uh, once I put myself in an awful position. Anyway, just don't lose the Eternal Heart, that's, uh, one of the take-home messages here. I'm probably overrating the importance of that Eternal Heart, considering, you know, we might lose three Spirit Hearts trying to protect it. Uh, and, you know, kind of, the hearts become a little bit more equal, uh, rather, whether they're blue or red once you get into the late game. You know, a heart's a heart at that point. Uh, be a little careful here, especially when we're not doing deals with the Devil, so... Uh, I, I expect that fully this mom fight should be over fairly soon and without uh, too much hassle for us. Uh, but moving onwards might be a little tougher. Keep in mind though, we do have the compass, so we have an advantage compared to where we might normally be uh, coming into the later game here. We're not really in the late game, but the later game. And of course, uh, Pageant Boy. Pretty much straight up garbage for us at this point. Uh, and the matchstick, not as good to us as I would have liked it to be. But we're not necessarily uh, bereft of possibilities for victory here. Let us... Hopefully find our way to the boss room here, uh, right off the bat. But if we have to go through some extra rooms, that's not so bad. We're, we're stronger than the womb right now. Uh, so I just want to make sure I don't accidentally kill myself on the doppelganger. Second level Meat Boy should tear this dude apart. Might took a little longer than uh, expected there. Oh, this is the wrong way? Now I'm pissed because i got to deal with these lasers who are always pains in the ass. Uh, but now it's got to be up, right? Like, I guess there's like a 10% chance it could be down and left. Uh, but I hope that it's gonna be up and to the right here. Sorry, up and to the left, uh, as opposed to the other way. Uh, we'll, we'll soon find out whether, whether there's a break in the, uh, in the uh, fork in the road basically coming up soon. So we're gonna focus on taking out one of these monsters before the other ones, just to simplify the, the dodging that we have to do here. I always struggle with, like, the perspective of these monstro shots, uh, but so far so good, I'd say. Uh, this has gone pretty well. That champion's gotta be nearing death, and he dies, and, uh, then this guy, if that health bar is accurate, we're getting pretty close to the end for him as well. A couple more should be able to... There we go. Spirit Heart was actually really valuable for us there as well. Okay, good. This is indeed the way to get to the boss room. According to the map and compass, anyway. Well, not the map. Well, the map that we can see, but we don't actually have the treasure map, so to speak. Uh, have I used Book of Revelations on this floor? If not, well, I have now, uh, and I just wanted to do this. Even though that cost us a key we might be able to use on the chest, uh, I think we're, we're kind of in a position where I, I have to open these golden chests just to see if they contain an item that might really benefit me moving forward. So, uh, if uh, there's a benevolent force in this universe, we should be fighting death here, which is going to be a tough fight, but by the same token is uh, definitely necessary to get us that third level cube of meat. It is indeed death. Please don't drop, like, the white pony or the pony. Uh, that would be very disappointing for me. So far, I'd say this fight has gone real well, as you can probably uh, divine by how it's going so far. Uh, death has already entered his uh, 
summoning zombies phase, which is the you know the harder part of the fight. But by the same token, uh, now we can't summon scythes, which makes my life uh, substantially easier. So we'll focus on killing him first, then we'll go straight for the horse. And uh, the horse is usually the harder part here on Fort. Wow, that was a really easy fight. That went really well. So let's just we're not gonna take it obviously, but let's see what we're missing out on here. Uh, the relic that would be definitely a useful item for us, but uh, you know you can't always get what you want. There is an arcade on this floor, uh, which is both tempting and uh, horrifying, so I'm, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I hit myself there. Uh, I'm definitely going to skip out over that, uh, now that I have permanent poison here, or, you know, some poison. I guess poison doesn't work on that guy, that was very strange. That is not the way to the boss room, and now I am taking uh, much more damage than I feel comfortable admitting. Poison damage should tear these guys apart. Wow, another eternal heart, that might be really lucky. Now, uh, with the compass, I'm very tempted to use this world card, but... It's not necessary on this floor. I think it's much better uh, of an idea to save it for the next floor uh, Where it might come in uh, drastic like orders of magnitude more handy than it actually is here uh, So we're gonna come down and uh, ideally I guess down into the left so far. We've gotten Fairly lucky uh, on the womb and well, I guess so far meaning like the first floor We got fairly lucky uh, with the direction and it looks like we're gonna get fairly lucky again only going in one wrong direction before eventually uh, Figuring out the exact right way to go and of course we will use the world card which should make the cathedral a little bit faster uh, with 11 bombs and through third level meat boy mom's heart shouldn't be horrible uh, but by the same token it might be a little tricky because meat boy might like fire some of those bombs back at me which obviously I'm not interested in uh, on the bright side, he's going to do some extra damage to her, so, uh, you know, that, that's going to be something that's going to be both a, a double-edged sword. Uh, well, I guess I don't even say both if I'm saying a double-edged sword. It's going to be both a good thing and a bad thing on the uh, Isaac and Blue Baby boss fight, assuming we get to the Blue Baby boss fight, or even the Isaac boss fight, I suppose. Um, is that he is going to, um, unfortunately, cause those enemies to fire substantially more frequently. That being said, he's already kind of going to town here. Just seem to be a little cautious with my uh, bomb usage, because I definitely don't want Meat Boy... Uh, to kick the bombs back at me, nor do I want him to kick the bombs kind of out of useful position, and he's oftentimes uh, definitely guilty of doing that. So unfortunately, I'm going to fall out of position here. Uh, I was really hoping that uh, Monster would die a little bit faster. It's okay, though. That is definitely going to kill both Larry Juniors, and then if we can just get into a rhythm here... Uh, obviously, we're going pretty slow right now, as you can see, because um, normally Mom's Heart does not summon two waves of lasers. Uh, it goes straight into the zombies instead. So far, so good, though. Uh, just good timing here. Uh, I can't believe that guy didn't die more quickly, but uh, we don't summon Chubb. Thank you. That's all I was worried about. Now we have continuously firing bombs. Meat Boy, uh, combined with my own damage, should be able to do some fairly substantial damage. And uh, hopefully we can kill Mom's Heart before the Duke of Flies gets close to me. In fact, he went in the opposite direction there, which is uh, I'm very thankful for. So it's up to the Cathedral. We did get another Spirit Heart, uh, and I'm amazed that we've been able to exist on this amount of health as long as we have. Let's pop this world card because it looks like the boss room is fairly far away. And uh, unfortunately, the world card's not going to save us too much time. Uh, it, like, it didn't give us the secret room key or anything to kind of have a shortcut. Uh, there's no two ways around this. It's going to be a long trip to the boss room. But at, at least this saves me probably going up first. Uh, I'm not going to open that golden chest just on the uh, the hunch that we're going to beat Isaac and thus be able to go to the chest proper. Uh, since we know this is the right way, might as well just leave. Uh, because I don't, I mean, I guess I could just bomb my way out of several of these, uh, rooms, but, uh, I don't know if that's in my best interest necessarily. We managed to get out of this room without causing too many problems for ourselves. The Magician card is totally worthless. Uh, the Two of Diamonds, also largely terrible right now, but we did take ourselves to 99 cents, as if that actually matters at all. Uh, we picked up another key, which is actually really valuable. Uh, if we manage to make it down to the chest, I will be very thankful for that. Uh, but the chest has been super terrible for us lately uh, with respect to items. It, it hasn't stopped us from winning a lot of vanilla runs recently. Uh, but I, I miss the days where we used to get like Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, and Quad Shot on like every chest. Those were the fucking days. Uh, that being said, uh, with the amount of health that we have and the fact that we're going to get occasional invincibility from uh, Celtic Cross, I definitely feel like we're going to be able to beat Isaac. High Priestess, uh... Does that hurt us on the Isaac boss fight? I can't remember. Um, but um, I definitely feel like we have a good opportunity to beat Isaac. I'd, I'd say we're a little bit better than 50-50 right now. Uh, once we get down to the chest, assuming we, we get something okay from the items, anything could happen. But, uh, you know, for now, uh, everything that's within the realm of our control, I think we're doing okay. This Meat Boy is... I, I like to harp on Meat Boy when he sucks, but he's doing a really good job right now of, of focusing good targets. Uh, and I'm doing a piss poor job of uh, following up on it. But anyway, one more room with just a single pony in here. Uh, will make things fairly easy on us, although I'm an idiot. That should kill the helmet, though, because uh, you've got the, po the Poison Touch uh, nastiness put on him. 
We are gonna still have a uh, half of a spirit heart available for this boss fight, so I have the, you know lost uh, a lot of my uh, the stock that I built up. But that's the whole reason you get Book of Revelations, you know, build up that stock so you can uh, erode it a little bit later on in the game. But you should be dead. Thank you. I'm not gonna open the golden chest, even if it might have two keys in it. So first things first, pop the high priestess. Did do damage. Uh, did it do a lot? Yeah, you know that's not an insignificant amount of damage. Now. Uh, I'm gonna try to dodge, but the most important thing is to pay attention to when uh, I get hit and invincibility procs. Because when that happens, uh, we gotta run up and do some serious damage all up in his face. Now, I'm hoping we're not on the invincibility that would give me, uh, just like, I wouldn't actually flash or have the thing around me. I would just, like, appear normal. That usually happens on the third invincibility within a room. I'm, I'm feeling really good about this Isaac boss fight right now. Uh, I took some more damage there. That's okay. Actually, you know what? If I stand in kind of like the middle here... I should be able to poison him, even with that brief period of invincibility I get uh, from getting hit. Anyway, let's just dodge around here. This has gone pretty well. I didn't take a second hit of damage there, and I did manage to poison him, so I would say this is a fairly smart idea. Uh, hasn't been the best dodging so far, but keep in mind, there's been a lot of shots coming in on a very, very regular basis here. Uh, so that was just one way to take out the angel fetuses fairly quickly there. I would almost welcome uh, some invincibility here, even like if it costs me to take damage, that's fine, uh, because that would allow us to take out these angel fetuses and make me feel a lot more comfortable uh, comfortable about the situation uh, where I am kind of hemorrhaging a little bit of health right now. We're down to only three hits. Even one invincibility would be enough to, to carry us through. Uh, just back it up a little bit. This is fine. Isaac is going to be taken out by Blue Baby soon, or by our uh, Cuba Meat soon. Uh, okay, now that invincibility was valuable, uh, but we're super low on health, obviously, so I our chances of beating the chest, I'd say, are pretty low. We did end up getting the relic, kind of too little too late. This HP upgrade is actually a huge boost for us because it takes us back to full health, and now I feel like we might have a chance. It's amazing, like I said, uh, once you get to the chest, uh, all bets are off, you know, anything can happen. Uh, ideally, you know, it's still going to be tough. We need to get more invincibility than we got on the uh, Isaac fight, that's for damn sure. Uh, but beyond that, um, you know, finding the boss room quickly is going to be a big part of this. Uh, and if we find any other items uh, on the way here, that would be awesome. Finding the secret room by accident is fantastic as well. That could have, uh, you know, a one-up in it or a, an epic fetus or something. There's definitely no rule against secret rooms, so uh, I don't feel too badly about going to one of those. Uh, this should kill him, and now that he's dead, sadly we got nothing out of it, uh, except six more cents, which is enough to take us, well, we could have gotten a 99 if we wanted to. Uh, now, this is, uh, not, it's a dead end, so you might be thinking, oh, you must be feeling really bad about that. Uh, quite the contrary, uh, because this is actually an, an opportunity to get a little extra health, uh, charged up uh, by way of, like, one-sixth of a spirit heart charge here. Uh, and this is an easier room. It's not, it's not the easiest room we could possibly, you know, fathom in our Binding of Isaac careers. That being said, it's not a difficult room. It's, it's probably the easiest room we could possibly run into on the chest, to be quite honest with you. Unless we just ran across a room where that was, you know, bereft of enemies. But this one still gives us the benefit of getting that spirit heart charge. Uh, so, let's open up this final chest. That contains Sad Onion. That is a huge boon to our possibilities here. So, uh, although there were no necessarily amazing items, Sad Onion is borderline amazing, but uh, is it truly amazing? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but although there might not have been any uh, truly amazing ob items objectively, uh, we got enough items in the chest that in this weird situational basis through like a combination and intersection of usefulness uh, might be able to make me succeed here in which case I would be pretty impressed because uh, you know th there were some legitimate challenges to this challenge run like not being able to go to uh, bomb bag sure why not not being able to go to the uh, deals with the devil is, is a really big negative thing I and mean, you know we would have had the relic a lot sooner if we would, could go to deals with the angel we definitely would have had uh, Guardian Angel as well, which probably would have saved us from taking a decent amount of damage coming in. Uh, it's an interesting situation to think about, you know? I'm kind of amazed that we're in the position we are. Okay, that's good invincibility. Poison the shit out of these dudes, drop some bombs. Uh, I really need to take out one of these monsters. Once these guys get kind of out of the uh, rotation, or like out of the permanent kind of equilibrium I can keep them in to deal with this boss battle, it makes things a lot harder. And that's why I'm abusing the, the bombs that I have right here, even though you might be like, you should save those for the blue baby fight. You might be 100% correct. That being said, I, I've got to try something here. As you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked. If I lose to two Monster of Twos, I'm not going to be happy with myself. Uh, but this guy's got to be dead soon. Oh my god, I still got hit by that? Did Harlequin Baby hit that? I, I can't, I don't even know why that red dude died in that situation. Uh, the health bar's been completely depleted, yeah, for like five seconds. I got hit again by the same fucking, like, ugh. Okay, 
Now I don't feel like we're in as good of a position anymore. Uh, it's been, you know, upswings and downswings uh, on this Binding of Isaac run so far. But again, if we succeed, this will be kind of a major uh, feather in my cap. Although I am hemorrhaging damage on a uh, an impractically uh, substantial basis. Now, Wrath is dead, right? Is that who we killed? So we're going to get a tarot card from killing Sloth. Uh, ideally, this would be a sun card. That would save our lives, at least briefly, maybe long term. Oh, we're just going to get another opportunity to pick up Bob's Rotten Head. Amazing. So happy about that. Okay, I, somehow I didn't take damage there. Uh, I need to save some bombs for this blue baby fight, but by the same token, the ability to take these enemies out uh, fairly quickly uh, is kind of a, an essential part of my uh, you know, long-term survival plan. This guy's got to go down soon. He got poison touched at least once, maybe twice. Only three hits remaining. This is going to have to be one he fucking hell of a blue baby fight if we're going to succeed here. Either way, it's been a successful run. Now, it's not only been successful because of my play. My play's been adequate at best. Uh, but, you know, the random number generator's generator has been fairly good to me. Our final room, of course, is going to be exactly the same as the room we just dealt with. Uh, and then we're going to have the blue baby fight, which is going to be uh, very, very interesting to say the least. Now, I guess it's in my best interest to trade in uh, Book of Revelations for Bob's Rotten Head at this point. We'll at least be able to get one bomb uh, with poison done to him. I doubt that'll make the difference between life and death, but, uh, you know, we got to press every advantage. We're definitely not going to get to another Book of Revelations charge unless I choose to go to uh, more rooms. But if we go to more rooms, it's probably fairly unlikely that we'll even survive long enough uh, to uh, see the blue baby fight. So let's... Oh, that was so close to being hit there. Uh, let's not press our luck, shall we say. So, uh, again, just a little bit cautious about uh, all these bullets flying here. Uh, one of these Lokis, once he dies, it's going to be uh, easy play for us for the rest of the game, hopefully. Uh, but Jesus Christ, if it hasn't been a, a nightmare getting one of these... Oh my god, another one killed me. Uh, it's been a nightmare getting these guys to die. Triple Loki should be one of the easier rooms that we could come across here. Uh, just careful. It's, it's all because of the intersecting bullets. It makes things very difficult to deal with, unfortunately. That's okay, we'll just back it up a little bit more. Um... Oh, don't get hit by that one. That would have been real embarrassing. Oh, no, I just got hit by that one instead. At least get to the fucking blue baby fight. Jesus, okay. Uh, we go pick up Bob's Rotten Head. We're back here. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think this gives us much of a chance of success, but, uh, you know, it improves our chances a little bit, I suppose. Now, please, lots of Polaroid invincibility. Oh, there's... At least it hit him. Uh, but no, no invincibility. That wasn't even Polaroid invincibility. It was Celtic Cross that I wanted to proc there. Uh, so we just can't get hit anymore. And we did. But hey, that was a good run nonetheless. I did my damnedest to succeed there. Thank you to Cinda Stores for that challenge run suggestion. As close as I could possibly come without winning. But in any case, continue suggesting your own challenge runs. I hope you found this video informative, maybe a little bit entertaining as well, or vice versa, maybe I should say. Uh, as always, I appreciate any support you can give the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.